Snakes, crocodiles, big lizards… Eh, not exactly a big deal. I mean, I guess they're less scary in pic- ah! Whoa, I take it back. Crocodile monitors are the only reptiles, other than snakes of course, that have forked tongues. No, we're not counting telemarketers. Somehow, that tongue helps them pick up delicious scents. Oh, and they're also called tree crocodiles. So if you ever thought you'd be safe up in a tree if you got chased by a crocodile, better think again. They're full of surprises, including impressive tree climbing skills. They're quite aggressive, and luckily, they live far, far away, somewhere in the mountains of New Guinea. It may not be the giant dragon you saw in that fantasy movie last week, but the Komodo dragon is scary in its own way. The biggest living lizard even has its own island named after it. If you're ever in Indonesia, 300 pounds, 10 feet long, definitely worth a look, up from a distance. This lizard tends to dig a huge hole where it lays its eggs. As soon as the younger ones gain some strength, they run away from home and climb up the nearest tree. Not because they're being rebellious, more to avoid being eaten. Yep, they don't have the best parents in the world since, well, Komodo dragons sometimes eat other Komodo dragons. So yeah. This turtle is all about breaking stereotypes. It looks like a dinosaur tried to crash the annual turtle Halloween party. A ridged shell, rough skin, and an insanely strong bite. Definitely not your average turtle. They live in swamps and freshwater lakes and are definitely the largest and meanest looking of all snapping turtles out there. They're also the heaviest. The biggest one ever found weighed almost 250 pounds. Because of the algae growing on their shells, you might think you're looking at some sort of oddly shaped rock sticking out of the water. Finally, a scary movie starring a turtle as a bad guy. They walk at night and will literally eat everything they find. I'm talking snakes, opossums, water birds, squirrels, other turtles, and this is the impressive part, even some smaller alligators. I don't know if I'm ever going to swim in a lake again. Snake time, beady little eyes, crazy colored skin. Yeah, that's not the case with a Madagascar blind snake. These small reptiles look like skinny pink worms, and you're not exactly going to stumble across them in the wild. They live underground. And yes, they have really poor vision. They can only see blurry shapes and shadows. That's why they mainly hunt by smell. Blind snakes in general can grow up to a foot long, and they live on all continents except Antarctica. And speaking of snakes, I just can't leave out the cobra. Yellow, black, striped, so many patterns and colors. But there's one, you better hope you never meet her. The queen, the red spitting cobra. This one won't bite you to inject its venom. It's got a bit more of a rude approach. It contracts the muscles around its venom gland and spits some out right into your face. It seems like a way scarier tactic than a regular old bite, but there's a catch. This cobra's venom doesn't work if it falls on your skin or even gets into your mouth. For things to get really nasty, it has to get into your eyes. Phew! I mean, it's not like animals have such an amazing aim that they can nail you in the eye while you're running away, right? Well, there was an experiment, and those spitting cobras managed to hit a researcher's goggle-covered eyes 10 out of 10 times. Speaking of snakes, no way. Speaking of turtles, okay, snake neck turtles, I got it eventually. When you see one roaming around, you might think it's a snake that's borrowing its buddy's house while it's out of town. But no, this turtle's neck is almost half its total size. How awesome would we look with necks like that? Eh, no thanks. They mostly chill in wetlands or swamps. Some of them are also known as stinkers, like me. And you can find out why if you catch one having a bad day. They can launch their stinky spray more than 3 feet. Well, that beats me. Pac-Man frogs, named after the greatest game ever, according to that weird guy you met at the grocery store, have round, plum bodies with pretty big stomachs and mouths. They come in different colors, including apricot, strawberry, and albino. So, red, yellow, and white, I guess. They're pretty lazy and not into climbing or even moving. They do have teeth, though, and they won't hesitate to bite if you touch them. Luckily, they're not poisonous, but it probably wouldn't feel that good to have a frog hanging from your finger. 
No, I guess it wouldn't. This is a gharial, one of the strangest and most unique crocodiles out there. Check out that ridiculous snout. But it does come in handy when it's trying to catch fish. Unlike crocodiles that stalk and then lunge at their prey, gharials sense vibrations in the water. Then they whip their heads from side to side, then it's sushi time! <coughs> their jaws have more than 100 teeth. Gharials prefer to stay in the water most of the time, but sometimes they go out to chill if it's sunny enough. Just give them a clear freshwater river and they'll be happy. Yeah, no need to tell me twice. Lizards, snakes, frogs… Step aside please, turtles are slowly but surely taking over this video. Strap yourselves in for the pig nose turtle. Oh! It's another freshwater turtle, this time with a long snout, complete with two big nostrils. It gets its name because… duh. That sweet snout allows it to breathe while the rest of its body stays underwater. That way, it can keep its body hidden. It's safe from any underwater danger, too, since its belly looks sort of like the reflections made by nearby trees. It may look funny, but this turtle's had its own camouflage tactics and totally unique look for the last 140 million years. That's way before the dinosaurs went extinct. The leaf-nosed snake has a quite elongated body and a bizarre nose that looks kind of like a bendy leaf. Okay, so this Pinocchio snake comes from Madagascar and lives in trees. And you might easily mistake it for a branch. This snake chills during the day and goes out at night to find itself some delicious smaller reptiles, frogs, and even birds. Picture yourself on a sandy tropical beach. The sea, coconuts, palms, and iguanas? Yeah, these guys hang out everywhere – in the sand, up trees, on walls. They live all the way from Mexico to Brazil and love to chill anywhere sunny. It's not just a relaxing hobby – they need the sunlight for its vitamin D, which helps them absorb more nutrients from their food. And no worries, iguanas aren't dangerous as long as they don't feel threatened. If they do, well, luckily they're not venomous. But they do have sharp teeth that can cause some serious discomfort. Oh, and you know how those smaller lizards lose their tail when they get stuck or when you step on them? The same thing happens to iguanas. A legless lizard is a reptile that's always getting mistaken for a snake. It actually lost its legs and arms, not overnight of course, but through millions of years of evolution. Snakes lost their legs and arms even earlier. Still, there are real differences between them. If you get up close and personal with a legless lizard, you'll see that it blinks. But snakes, on the other hand, they don't even have eyelids. They protect their eyes with see-through membranes. Snakes actually have shorter tails, while legless lizards, well, they're mostly tail. Now you're totally ready for next Monday's Quiz Night, Reptile Edition. Gotta say it again, turtles are rocking this video. And this time, I mean literally. Merry River turtles look just awesome. It's not like you see a reptile with a green mohawk every day. But this little turtle has a secret. That's not its natural hair. It's actually algae. Ooh, slimy!